I have a Samsung Galaxy S7 here and I'm gonna show you how to get in as well as get out of safe mode. Now, first of all, there's two ways to do this depending on what phone you have, okay? So first of all, if you have like an international phone or a phone through like a Verizon, then I'm gonna show you the first way. The second way, basically, if you have um, a phone from the US that's through a carrier such as like T-Mobile, AT&T, and Sprint, you're gonna to have to access the safe mode in a different way, okay? So the first way, let's say you have an international phone or like a Verizon phone, what you wanna do is you wanna press and hold down the power button, okay? And then once this menu pops up, what you wanna do here is simply just press and hold the power off button, okay? And then within like a second or two, you're gonna have another menu that's gonna pop up that's gonna ask you if you want to restart your computer in a safe mode, you simply press on restart, okay? Now, if you have a phone such as mine, I have a T-Mobile phone, or if you have an AT&T or a Sprint, you're gonna to have to do it this way. Go ahead and power off your phone. Power down completely. And you can see you have T-Mobile here. Now what you wanna do is go ahead and power up your phone. And as soon as you see the animated Samsung logo pop up, then you wanna press and hold down the volume down button. So give it a second here. Okay, press and hold volume down button now and I'm still holding it down and I'm gonna to continue to hold it down until I'm actually booted up into my phone and then we should see that I'm in safe mode. So give this a second here. I'm still holding down the volume down button. And there you go. And now you can see that I'm in safe mode here. And then of course, if I go into my phone here, I'm not gonna be able to access my third party applications. What are third party applications or apps? Basically apps that I downloaded. So if I click on like my game here, it's gonna give me this, this message here. It says download apps disabled while in safe mode. Okay, and now what's the reason why you would want to put your phone into safe mode? Well, there's many reasons. If your phone is having errors, if it's lagging, if it's freezing, if it's doing something else that it's not supposed to, if you're draining a lot of battery juice, it's possible that it could be one of your apps that is causing your phone to malfunction like that. So what you can do is go into safe mode, and then once you're in safe mode, you know, give it some time. If you're not having those like same errors or same like issues, freezing or whatever, and your phone is perfectly fine, then it's a good chance that it's actually a third-party app that is bad on your phone. Then what you can do right now as you're in safe mode, you can go ahead and you can start uninstalling uh, your apps. You can do it one by one, or you can basically install the last app that you installed um, before you started having those issues with your S7. And then once you uninstall it, go ahead and um, get your phone out of safe mode. You simply just need to reboot. And once you reboot, you'll be out of safe mode, and then hopefully your phone is not having those uh, issues again. If it is, then you just go back into uh, safe mode. So I'm in safe mode. Now once I restart my phone and it boots back up, I'll be out of safe mode. And that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or anything, just comment below. All right, thanks guys, bye.